Okay, let's start the video. Before we get started, you can email me for any game prediction at hype underscore links yahoo.com. Always remember nothing is guaranteed, but always trust yourself. Please do donate, subscribe, share, and like my video. And always remember uh, to follow my system and follow my video. Do not skim through the video. You're going to miss a lot of stuff if you do that. And you can, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, donate, share, and like my video. And click my channel and then donate to my channel. Please donate to support my channel. So as you can see last night, nobody won the uh, Mega. Nobody won the Mega. It goes up. It can easily goes up for the Powerball because it's three draws per week. So let's get to the Deezer system. And this was a Powerball for last few draws. Now, as you can see, the 11, 36, 61, 62, 68, and the 4 was the last draw. They have thrown us off to the 360s. And, and I bet people are commenting, why, how the heck did that guy, that, that guy that hit, the elder guy that hit in Arizona, predict these numbers? Yeah, it's not that hard. How? Because people tend to play a certain number. So for instance, nobody would believe 360 would come. Even a professional player would not think that 360 would come. And those people that think that way are usually correct. Because you do not want to go against the art. Not want to go against the art. So if there's five wolves, I've been telling people this story. If there's five wolves in the front, you do not want to run toward the wolves. You run the other way because you don't want to go against the art and take your chance that you're going to be attacked by the wolf. So again, that's 360. You're going against the art if you play 360. And you're gonna have a lower chance of hitting that jackpot. And and the professional player, people who know the game, they know that 360 shouldn't be played. And we cannot control that they threw 360. So again, I guarantee you, next highest jackpot, you won't see 360s. If they do it again, it's once in blue moon. So we won't get 360s. So no, we had no control over that game that got hit last draw. You know that 360 don't usually come. So we know that. We know that they threw us off. But they do come, but you do not want to go against the R and play 360. So again, you have zero, one time, digit one, three time, digit two, two time, digit three, one time, digit four, one time, digit six, four time, and digit eight, one time. So if there's no double numbers, the lowest corner you should you should be using is seven corners. So if you find the right user, you should only have seven corners out of 12, because even though each digit use one corner, you can use a duplicate coordinate that has should, should, that, that that has been used. That's a key factor of hitting that the game to have uh, coordinate repeated. The the, the less the less coordinate you use, the bad chance you have. If the numbers get drawn out in the favor of having less coordinates, so again, the less coordinate, the better. The only disadvantage you have is when a double number comes, then you need an extra corner. Instead of having, uh, having seven corners over here, you need eight corners. So for each double number, you add one corner more. If it's a different, uh, if it's a different du double number. So f why why do I say that? Because the, the the red ball and the white ball could be eleven or twenty two. Right? It could be eleven and twenty two at the same time. That's why I'm saying that, and that therefore. You, even though you have two double numbers, you don't need an extra corner because they have the same double number. Otherwise, you need a different corner for each double number. Uh, if you look at the Mega Million last draw, I posted the Mega Million also. The Mega Million uh, last draw, let's, let's scroll, let's roll this up. The Mega Million last draw was, was outstanding. Nine. Oh, uh, 11, 34, 49, 34, 49, 66, one double number. And you have 15, am I correct? So if you can look at the Mega Man last night, 
you see you have disadvantage of last night draw because it's two double numbers. You see the two double numbers? You have a disadvantage, but there's no 360. As I point out, no 360s with the last couple, a, lot, a long streak without 360s. So 360 are rare. So I'm not, I, I, the, 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 the statistics doesn't lie. And you have 360s only once in a blue moon. And you have two double numbers. This is what I mean, two double numbers. So you can add two more corners to it. Uh, th that last night's show was the disadvantage because you have a double number. When you, whenever you have a double number, is a, 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 you have a disadvantage. But for pick three and pick four, the double numbers will help you increase your chance of double down your winnings. But in this scenario for Mega Man and Powerball, you do not want a double number because these are the, the, the main goal of these is to pick as less corner as possible to hit the jackpot. You know, we're trying to break the record of having four corners instead of five corners. You're trying to break the record. Record four corners. Let's see when the time comes, the four corner appear in the teaser, you should be hitting that jackpot. I don't care. Don't give any excuse. You have to find the right teaser. So let me pin, uh, pinpoint you why this uh, last night's show was a uh, disadvantage. You have a nine zero appearing one time. Then you have one appearing three times. So because the one appearing three times, you, you drop low the you drop less amount of corner as possible because I won't repeat it you have 34 not 34 you have uh, three next appearing one time you have uh you have four appearing one time you have five appearing one time am I correct you have six appearing two times doesn't help because it, it's a double number it only helps if it's not a double number you have seven eight uh you have nine Appearing how many times? Two times. Am I correct? And the one doesn't help either because the one appearing as a double number. So if you add up these corners, it should be 12. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11. So you're missing one corner. So which corner are you missing? You're missing the four. The four appearing two times. So you got to make sure your corners are correct. So I have, now I have 12 corners for last night's draw. It's a disadvantage because you have two double numbers. Let's do it on the these manually. You have 0, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. 0, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. 0, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 9. Now, as you can see, you cannot pick 11 or 66 because it's a double number. You need to put another one there, you need to put another six there. But let's do whatever we can do for the meantime. So I'm gonna copy the number down, paste it so it takes le less of a time, paste the number down on the teaser. And this is just a example. So if you calculate the right teaser and this and these digits are in somewhere inside the teaser, it doesn't matter if it's in this section right here, in the middle, it doesn't matter if it's in this section, in this section, in this section, if it's in close proximity, that's good. So nine, nine's right here. So you cannot pick nine, you have no nine. So we gotta range a digit. Let's swap this, let's swap the nine with the six. Now you can pick nine. Now you don't have 11. Oh my God. I'm gonna put 11, add another digit one over here and I put a six over here. Now you have 11 and nine. How about that 34, 34 is over here. How about that, that? How about that forty-nine? Now you cannot pick forty-nine. Now you gotta swap that four right here. We we'll have that nine. Uh no no, three. So now you have 34, 49. How about that sixty-six? Uh, sixty-six is right here. You gotta add another digit six. Yeah, you have sixty-six right here. Where's that fifteen? Fifteen right here. Bingo. Everything works out. So everything should work out. Doesn't matter if you have four digit one, five digit one. Everything should work out. What do I mean by five digit one? Now, let's say a number appears five with, uh, with five digit one, like 12, 14, 16, 19, and then for the board, we have 15. 12, 14, 16, you have five digit one. And you only need one digit one in the deezer to pick all that five number with digit one. That's what I mean by that. That's what I mean by that. And that's a double number, you need another digit one. Otherwise, you have one digit one, can still go with all the numbers. So what? So, for example, you have can you, if you, you don't have you don't just not focus on this digit one. You have 10, 14, 19, 15. You can pick four four number with only one digit one. And 
15 as a red ball, uh, as a yellow ball. So that's five. So don't need a lot of digit one to pick five number with digit one. You only need one because if these are quantum system is the main goal of hitting that jackpot. You need to find where the location of the hitting points are in. Find the right section. You minimize the amount of corner that's used, you hit that jackpot. So let's get back. The corner should be seven to nine corners. If you use more than seven to nine corners, you're not gonna hit. Time when you see less than seven, yeah. But from I mean from seven to eight mostly. So seven to eight, seven to nine, you don't need 10, 11, 12 corners. Though, even if it comes, then you forget about that draw. That's it, you forget about the draw. Most of the draw are from seven to nine. So uh, I, I, this is where I did it. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven corners. Seven corners because of two double numbers. You have one, 11, and 66. Add one more corner to it, add one more corner. You have a total of 12 coordinates. You have a total of 12 coordinates. You have a total of 12 coordinates. So again, bingo, 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 bingo. Total of 12, uh, a total of, uh, a total of 12 corners. That should, but you only use nine corners because of the double number, you have seven. Plus 11 and 66, you add two more corners, that's nine. So it falls in the range of seven to nine corners. Do you see that? Now, now if you email me the Mega Man, these are for next draw. You can email me for Mega Man, these are next draw. If you want a Mega Man, these are, email me for the Mega Man, these are next draw. So you can get this and you can hit that jackpot. Hit that jackpot, and you hit that jackpot, and you hit that jackpot for two more. Two more, two more, two more. Uh, I mean, Tuesday. Jackpot's high. We're going to hit that jackpot. Now, I'm going to post a teaser. Not necessarily this teaser will be used for tonight's game. Not necessarily this teaser will be used for tonight's game. I'm just posting whatever the first teaser that I do. Not necessary. it will be used. Okay, email for the for the right teaser. You want to hit that jackpot. Remember, twenty million is not it's not it's it's not it won't get you into in, into the billion air range. But, but you can have that twenty million. You can you can work your way up. You can still hit that billion. You can still be that billion air if you start with twenty million. That's good money. So I'll post one these up for tonight's game for Powerball one six two nine five. Six, seven, six, one, seven, seven, one, and nine, two, one, seven, four, three, one, and one, one, five, three. You gotta find if you use the wrong teaser, you're not gonna hit the jackpot, you're gonna only waste your money. So you, you, need, you need a blue box number. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where the uh, close proximity is. It can be in the. It can be close to the blue box. So again, this this teaser may or may not be used for tonight's game. But you gotta email me for right teaser and the breakdown. And the invisible number system is the key. Without the invisible number system, you cannot hit the jackpot. You need to know where the numbers are coming from, and which to, which which w w where to place which number in which spot. There's five spot including the uh, excluding the. The uh, yellow board, red board, the yellow board and red board, the sixth spot. You need to know which spot you place those numbers. So if you like the video, uh, please do donate, subscribe, email me for any game prediction at hype underscore things at com, And I'll be, be glad to send you uh, my breakdown and invisible number system. And also, donate, subscribe, share, and like my video if you haven't done so. And always remember, nothing is guaranteed, but always trust yourself.